Saint Anne, of David's house and line, was the mother of Mary and grandmother of Jesus according to apocryphal Christian and Islamic tradition. Mary S. Mother is not named in the canonical Gospels, but is mentioned as the daughter of Fakid in Quran. In writing, Anne's name and that of her husband Joachim come only from New Testament Apocrypha, of which the Gospel of James written perhaps around 150 seems to be the earliest that mentions them. <laughs> Church tradition the story bears a similarity to that of the birth of Samuel, whose mother Hannah Hebrew, Hannah Hannah, favor, grace, etymologically the same name as Anne, had also been childless. Although Anne receives little attention in the Latin Church prior to the late 12th century, dedications to Anne in Eastern Christianity occur as early as the 6th century. In the Eastern Orthodox Churches and Eastern Catholic Churches, she is revered as Hannah. In the Eastern Orthodox tradition, Hannah is ascribed the title Forebear of God, and both the Nativity of Mary and the Presentation of Mary are celebrated as two of the twelve great feasts of the Orthodox Church. The Dormition of Hannah is also a minor feast in Eastern Christianity. In Lutheran Protestantism, it is held that Martin Luther chose to enter religious life as an Augustinian friar after crying out to Saint Anne while endangered by lightning. In Islam. Topic. Anne Arabic, Hant Hannah, is also revered in Islam, recognized as a highly spiritual woman and as the mother of Mary. The Quran describes her as the daughter of Fakid who remained childless until her old age. One day, Hannah saw a bird feeding its young while sitting in the shade of a tree, which awakened her desire to have children of her own. She prayed for a child and eventually conceived. Her husband, Imran, died before the child was born. Expecting the child to be male, Hannah vowed to dedicate him to isolation and service in the Second Temple. However, Hannah bore a daughter instead, and named her Mary. Her words upon delivering Mary reflect her status as a great mystic, realizing that while she had wanted a son, this daughter was God's gift to her. Then, when she brought forth she said, My Lord. Truly, I brought her forth, a female. And God is greater in knowledge of what she brought forth. And the male is not like the female. So her Lord received her with the very best acceptance. And her bringing forth caused the very best to develop in her. Quran 336-37, translated by Layla Bakhtiar. Topic. Beliefs. Topic. Although the canonical books of the New Testament never mention the mother of the Virgin Mary, traditions about her family, childhood, education, and eventual betrothal to Joseph developed very early in the history of the Church. The oldest and most influential source for these is the apocryphal Gospel of James, first written in Greek around the middle of the second century. In the West, the Gospel of James fell under a cloud in the fourth and fifth centuries when it was accused of absurdities by Jerome and condemned as untrustworthy by Pope Damasus I, Pope Innocent I, and Pope Gelasius I. Ancient belief, attested to by a sermon of John of Damascus, was that Anne married once. In late medieval times, legend held that Anne was married three times first to Joachim, then to Clopas and finally to a man named Salomas and that each marriage produced one daughter, Mary, mother of Jesus, Mary of Clopas, and Mary Salome, respectively. The sister of Saint Anne was Sobe, mother of Elizabeth. Similarly, in the 4th century and then much later in the 15th century, a belief arose that Mary was born of Anne by virgin birth, preserving Anne's body and soul intact as distinct from the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception that preserved her daughter's body and soul intact and sinless from the first moment of existence. Adherents included the 16th-century Lutheran mystic Valentine Weigel, who claimed Anne conceived Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit rather than conventional conjugal relations. This belief was condemned as an error by the Catholic Church in 1677. In the 15th century, the Catholic cleric Johann Eck related in a sermon that St. Anne's parents were named Stalinus and Emerentia. The Catholic Encyclopedia 1907 regards this genealogy as spurious. Topic. Veneration Topic. In the Eastern Church, the cult of Anne herself may go back as far as c. 
550, when Justinian built a church in Constantinople in her honor. The earliest pictorial sign of her veneration in the West is an 8th century fresco in the Church of Santa Maria Antiqua, Rome. Virginia Nixon sees an economic incentive in the local promotion of the cult of Saint Anne in order to attract pilgrims. The identification of Sepphoris as the birthplace of Mary may reflect competition with a similar site in Jerusalem. A shrine at Douai, in northern France, was one of the early centers of devotion to Saint Anne in the West. Two well known shrines to Saint Anne are that of Ste. Anne d. Ore in Brittany, France, and that of Ste. Anne de Beaupre near the city of Quebec. The number of visitors to the Basilica of Ste. Anne de Beaupre is greatest on Saint Anne. S feast day the 26th of July and the Sunday before nativity of the virgin mary the 8th of September in 1892 pope leo xiii sent a relic of saint anne to the church in the maltese language the milky way galaxy is called it trikta san anna literally the way of saint anne in imperial russia the order of saint anne was one of the leading state decorations topic relics The supposed relics of Saint Anne were brought from the Holy Land to Constantinople in 710 and were kept there in the Church of Saint Sophia as late as 1333. During the 12th and 13th centuries, returning crusaders and pilgrims from the East brought relics of Anne to a number of churches, including most famously those at Apt, in Provence, Ghent, and Chartres. Saint Anne's relics have been traditionally preserved and venerated in the many cathedrals and monasteries dedicated to her name, for example in Austria, Canada, Germany, Italy, and Greece in Holy Mount and the city of Caterini. Medieval and Baroque craftsmanship is evidenced in the striking metalwork of the life-size reliquaries containing the bones of her forearm for example. Examples employing folk art techniques are also known. Durin has been the main place of pilgrimage for Anne since 1506, when Pope Julius II decreed that her relics should be kept there. Patronage The Church of St. Anne in Beit Gouvern National Park was built by the Byzantines and the Crusaders in the 12th century, known in Arabic as Kerbet lit. Ruin. Sandahana, the Mound of Marisha being called Tel Sandahana. Saint Anne is patroness of unmarried women, housewives, women in labor or who want to be pregnant, grandmothers, educators and teachers. She is also a patroness of horseback riders, cabinet makers and miners. As the mother of Mary, this devotion to Saint Anne as the patron of miners arises from the medieval comparison between Mary and Christ and the precious metals silver and gold. Anne's womb was considered the source from which these precious metals were mined. Saint Anne is also said to be a patron saint of sailors and a protector from storms. She is also the patron saint of Brittany, France, Chinandega, Nicaragua, the Mi, KMAQ people of Canada, Castelbuono, Sicily, Quebec, Canada, Santa Ana, California, Norwich, Connecticut, Detroit, Michigan, Ahuntas, Puerto Rico, Santa Ana and Juquoran, El Salvador, Berlin, New Hampshire, Santa Ana Pueblo, Sima, and Taos, New Mexico, Chiclana de la Frontera, Marsascala, Tadela and Fasnia, Spain, town of Sta Ana province of Pampanga, Haganoy, San Santa Anna, Taguig City, Saint Anne Shrine, Malakboy, Pagbalao and Quezon, Philippines, Santana, Brazil, Saint Anne, Illinois, Saint Anne Island, Bay Saint Anne and Praslin Island, Seychelles, Bukit Murtajam and Port Klang, Malaysia, Klukove, Slovakia and South Vietnam. The parish church of Vatican City is San Anna dei Palafrenieri. There is a shrine dedicated to Saint Anne in the woods in Bristol, United Kingdom. In art Topic. Topic. Christ in the house of his parents Topic. In John Everett Millay's 1849–50 work, Christ in the house of his parents, Anne is shown in her son-in-law Joseph's carpentry shop caring for a young Jesus who had cut his hand on a nail. She joins her daughter Mary, Joseph, and a young boy who will later become known as John the Baptist in caring for the injured hand of Jesus. 
Iconography The subject of Joachim and Anne the meeting at the Golden Gate was a regular component of artistic cycles of the life of the Virgin. The couple meet at the Golden Gate of Jerusalem and embrace. They are aware of Anne's pregnancy, of which they have been separately informed by an archangel. This moment stood for the conception of Mary, and the feast was celebrated on the same day as the Immaculate Conception. Artworks representing the Golden Gate and the events leading up to it were influenced by the narrative in the widely read Golden Legend of Jacobus de Voragine. The birth of Mary, the presentation of Mary and the marriage of the Virgin were usual components of cycles of the life of the Virgin in which Anne is normally shown here. Her emblem is a door, Anne is never shown as present at the Nativity of Christ, but is frequently shown with the infant Christ in various subjects. She is sometimes believed to be depicted in scenes of the presentation of Jesus at the temple and the circumcision of Christ, but in the former case, this likely reflects a misidentification through confusion with Anna the prophetess. There was a tradition that Anne went separately to Egypt and rejoined the Holy Family after their flight to Egypt. Anne is not seen with the adult Christ, so was regarded as having died during the youth of Jesus. Anne is also shown as the matriarch of the Holy Kinship, the extended family of Jesus, a popular subject in late medieval Germany. Some versions of these pictorial and sculptural depictions include Emerentia who was reputed in the 15th century to be Anne's mother. In modern devotions, Anne and her husband are invoked for protection for the unborn. Topic: <laughs> Virgin and Child with Saint Anne. Topic: the role of the Messiah's grandparents in salvation history was commonly depicted in early medieval devotional art in a vertical double Madonna arrangement known as the Virgin and Child with Saint Anne. Another typical subject has Anne teaching the Virgin Mary the scriptures see gallery below. Gallery See also Topic. Anna the Prophetess Church of Saint Anne Statue of Saint Anne, Charles Bridge Virgin and Child with Saint Anne Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Brief American Catholic article on S.T.'s. Joachim and Anne. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus by Claire Hartsong. Saint Anne. At the Christian Iconography website. Here followeth the Nativity of Our Blessed Lady. From the Caxton translation of The Golden Legend. The Protevangelium of James. The Gospel of Pseudo Matthew Reims, Sherry L. Ed. Legends of Saint Anne, Mother of the Virgin Mary, Introduction. Middle English Legends of Women Saints, Medieval Institute Publications, Kalamazoo, Michigan, 2003. Welsh, Jennifer. The Cult of Saint Anne in Medieval and Early Modern Europe. Routledge, 2017.